highly motivated by a shiny package versus not, and I can start to incentivize them to either do something that puts them around that thing that I'm trying to sell, or um, incentivize them to buy something that they're already conditioned to buy, I think it becomes both powerful, but also something that can be used to manipulate, something that can be used to, um, to help in the case of incentivizing healthy behaviors, but something we haven't even figured out the, the limits to, um, or even noticed um, it's going on. I think you're starting to see this in some video games. I think with, uh, you know, oh, you can, you can do certain behaviors in the video games to achieve a certain status, to achieve a certain goal, but then some video games allow you to buy a cheat to get ahead. So you're putting money in there to move towards that. And then there's ways they can layer in some of the preferences that a person might have. You know, oh, you know, young people or you know, young males are motivated by X, not every one of them, but a high enough percentage that they put this into the game and it really gets people wanting to play. When people design video games, there's a, user, a lot of user interface, user experience aspect going into it to make people want to play them. But if you're starting to take people's money by manipulating them into wanting to play more and more and more and more and not stop, is that something that is basically they're using neuromarketing and using some sort of incentivization, incentivization structure? If Fortnite comes out with its, own, with its own coin, is that a coin that's going to become popular because people want to use it? What types of behaviors do people um, get rewarded for, for a new coin? And which what can they use that coin for? That would become a very interesting internal economic system to that video game. I, I think there are people thinking about these things, but I think they work for companies do you that mean, like buying like uh, do you mean like buying a currency like within the game? Because I know like some games like Fortnite and 2K already have that where kids actually buy coins like to buy new outfits like that. Like and I think one of the biggest themes is uh, 2K. 2K has so they dropped their video games. The first regular edition is sixty dollars, and the one that comes with like a hundred thousand VC uh, virtual currency. It's hundred dollars. It comes with hundred thousand VC, and you're able to buy like shoes and everything for your characters. So I know Fortnite does it with different skins, and uh, yeah. So that there's you know it's kind of like what I was talking about in the beginning the the, the incentives of the, of the currency um, that's that's sort of a, a a large object. You're buying a large object. You're getting paid for doing a a large action. But what if they start to break that down even more so you hardly even notice what you're buying anymore because you're paying one thousandth of a cent to, to um, move a little faster in the game, to have a slightly higher you know, firing rate in the game, or something that's so small that you don't even notice it. That can start to be something that gets layered into a coin within the game that doesn't even have to have any real money exchange. And now you're starting to be rewarded for certain behaviors as well as um, paying for certain aspects of, of what's going on in the game. And can that be motivating? Have you ever have you ever played a game or used a computer that's at a certain speed and all of a sudden everything slows down? It's, it stinks. You don't like that. So all of a sudden you're very incentivized to maintain that higher rate, whether it's running or whether it's how fast you're, you're able to download or upload things on a computer. So speed and alterations of speed at a very low level can be something that can be used to manipulate and finding out how much I need to down throttle someone's ability to run in a game in order to get them to want to pay one thousandth of a cent for every second they can run faster is the type of neuromarketing and the type of analysis that I think you're doing. You're probably already seeing, in fact, you know, I know some people who, who I know some physicists who've gone to work for Facebook so that in Farmville they knew how much people would pay for some you know, other thing. This, this happens already. But I think on a, a broader scale, it's going to be happening more and more and more as we move to blockchain and move to cryptocurrency because you can do it on such a small scale where it's no longer just paying $5 for their new skin, it's paying percentages of a penny in something that people don't even recognize as money um, for subtleties that we're not even recognizing now as something to pay for. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stop there a little bit because at this point, well, that's, uh, I've told you enough what I think. I, I, 